Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on beta and gamma functions. The gamma function is a function of a single variable as well as beta function is a function of two variables. Both the functions are special kinds of the improper integral. We know what is proper integral and improper integral. If the integrals with the limit either minus infinity or plus infinity or 0 to infinity, then it is known as improper integral. The beta function is defined as b of m comma n integral 0 to 1 x power m minus 1 into 1 minus x power n minus 1 dx. Very important, m and n are greater than 0. This function is also known as Euler integral of first kind. There is a very standard result b of m comma n is equal to b of n comma m. The gamma function is denoted by gamma of n and it is defined as the improper integral, integral 0 to infinity x power n minus 1 e power minus x dx provided x should be greater than 0. This is known as Euler integral of second kind. So now we learned both the formulas for beta of m comma n as well as gamma of n. Then there is a recurrence formula or reduction formula gamma of n plus 1 is n into gamma of n. Now using this formula again gamma of n can be rewritten as n minus 1 into gamma of n minus 1. So keep on substituting, we will be getting n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into etc. 3, 2, 1, gamma of 1. And it is easy to verify gamma of 1 is 1. Therefore, gamma of n plus 1 is going to be n, n minus 1 into n minus 2 etc. 3, 2, 1. This is nothing but my n factorial. So, this is one of the result. Gamma of n plus 1 is n factorial. Therefore, when I put n equal to 0, gamma of 1 is going to be 0 factorial. That is simply 1. And we have one more result for the fractions. Gamma of 1 by 2 is root pi. Just remember this. We can use this result in the problem. Let us evaluate the problem. Integral 0 to infinity x power 4 e power minus x dx. It looks like the gamma integral. For gamma integral, we know the formula integral 0 to infinity x power n minus 1 into e power minus x dx. So, I am writing this x power 4 as x power 5 minus 1. Therefore, my n is equal to 5. Now, we know the gamma function is going to be gamma of n. We found n is equal to 5. So, the answer is going to be gamma of 5. And again using the result, gamma of 5 is going to be 4 factorial because we know gamma of n plus 1 is n factorial. Now, simplifying this, 4 into 3 into 2 into 1, we will be getting 24. So, now the solution for the problem is 24. This is the beauty of gamma function. We have very tough integral. I can get the solution in a very simple way. Next, we are going to solve some problems on beta and gamma function. For this, we need this relation. Beta of m comma n can be represented as gamma of m, gamma of n divided by gamma of m plus n. Now, let us evaluate the problem. Find the solution of beta of 3 comma 5 or b of 3 comma 5. It's just a notation. I can use any of the thing. Now, by the result, beta of m comma n is equal to gamma of m into gamma of n divided by gamma of m plus n. Just I am substituting the values. Here m equal to 3, n equal to 5. So, gamma of 3 into gamma of 5 divided by 3 plus 5 is 8. And gamma of 3 is nothing but 2 factorial. Gamma of 5 is 4 factorial and gamma of 8 is 7 factorial. Just cancel the thing, simplify and you can write the answer. You can use your calculator. Next result, beta of 3 by 2 comma 2. Just you have to remember, gamma of 1 by 2 is root 5. Whenever it is needed, we can use this. Now, gamma of 3 by 2 is nothing but 1 by 2 into gamma of 1 by 2. Because of the result, gamma of n plus 1 is n into gamma of n. 1 by 2, gamma of 1 by 2. Because 3 by 2, when I assume it as n plus 1, then 
n is going to be 3 by 2 minus 1 that is 1 by 2. So, gamma of 3 by 2 I can rewritten as 1 by 2 into gamma of 1 by 2. Similarly, in the denominator 3 by 2 plus 2 it is going to be 7 by 2. So, 7 by 2 can be written as 5 by 2 into gamma of 5 by 2. Again, I am gamma of 5 by 2 can be rewritten as 3 by 2 into gamma of 3 by 2. This can be rewritten as 1 by 2 into gamma of 1 by 2. Now, substituting here, we will be getting 1 by 2 gamma of 1 by 2. Gamma of 2 is factorial. In the denominator, we have 5 by 2, 3 by 2, 1 by 2, gamma of 1 by 2. So, both will get cancelled and simplifying this, we will be getting 4 by 15. Next, if they ask the question, evaluate integral 0 to 1, x power 4, 1 minus x whole cube dx. This is of the form beta. Just see the value, power 4, power 3. So, we have to rewrite this as integral 0 to 1, x power 5 minus 1, 1 minus x whole power 4 minus 1 dx and my phi is going to be m and 4 is going to be n. Even you can take m as 4 and n as 5 because we know the result beta of m comma n is equal to beta of n comma m. So, now we found the value of m n. Now, we have to apply the relation between beta gamma function beta of m comma n it is going to be gamma of m into gamma of n divided by gamma of m plus n. So, m is going to be 5 and my n is 4. Substituting the values, gamma 5 is going to be 4 factorial, gamma 4 is 3 factorial and this is gamma 9, we have 8 factorial. Simplifying this, we will be getting 1 by 280. So, you have to write the properties and you have to write the relation between beta gamma and you have to write what is gamma of n plus 1 everything in a clear way. Next, this is one of the application of beta gamma function. We can solve the problem by the property beta of p plus 1 by 2 comma q plus 1 by 2 is equal to 2 times integral 0 to pi by 2 sin power p theta into cos power into cos power q theta d theta. So, now we have to identify the p and q from the given question and we have to rewrite it as p plus 1 by 2 comma q plus 1 by 2 and we can easily evaluate this kind of integrals. Let us go into the problem and this can be rewritten as sin power q theta into cos power p theta d theta because we know beta of m comma n is equal to beta of n comma m. Now, let us evaluate this problem. So, in this problem, we can see sin power 6 theta is there, cos is not there. So, I can write this as sin power 6 theta into cos power 0 theta d theta. Therefore, my p is going to be 6 and q is 0. Now, we know the result beta of p plus 1 by 2 comma q plus 1 by 2 is equal to 2 times integral 0 to pi by 2 sin power p theta cos power q theta d theta. Now, see the question. We have integral 0 to pi by 2. Therefore, I can take this 2 to the other side. Now, substituting the value p is equal to 6 and q is equal to 0 which we identified from the problem. Here, we will be getting beta of 6 plus 1 by 2 and then q value is 0. So, 0 plus 1 by 2. Beta of 7 by 2 comma 1 by 2. So, 1 by 2 into gamma of 7 by 2, gamma of 1 by 2. In the denominator, we have gamma of 7 by 2 plus 1 by 2. Now, it is known to us gamma of 7 by 2 can be rewritten as 5 by 2 into 3 by 2 into 1 by 2 into gamma of 1 by 2. And also, we know that gamma of 1 by 2 is root 5. So, I can rewrite this as 1 by 2, 5 by 2, 3 by 2, 1 by 2, root 5. Again, we have one more gamma of 1 by 2. This I can write it as root 5 divided by gamma of 4. Gamma of 4 is 3 factorial. So, root 5 into root 5, we have 5. 5 into 3, 2 into 2 into 2, then 3 factorial is going to be 3 into 2. And we have one more 
2 in the denominator. So, 3, 3 get cancelled. Now, this is going to be 4, 4 into 4, 16, 16 into 2, 32. Therefore, my solution is 5, 5 divided by 32. Integral 0 to pi by 2 sin power 4 theta into cos power 5 theta. It is very clear. P is equal to 4 and Q is equal to 5. Now, substituting the values in the formula, integral 0 to pi by 2 sin power P theta cos power Q theta, it is going to be 1 by 2 beta of P plus 1 by 2 Q plus 1 by 2. P value is 4 and Q value is 5. Therefore, it is going to be 4 plus 1, 5 by 2. 6 plus 1 by 2 is 3. So, now we know the relation beta of m, n. It is going to be gamma of m into gamma of n divided by gamma of m plus n. Substituting this, now 1 by 2 into gamma of 5 by 2 is 3 by 2 into 1 by 2 into gamma of 1 by 2. Gamma of 3 is 2 factorial. In the denominator, gamma of 11 by 2 is 9 by 2, 7 by 2, 5 by 2, 3 by 2, 1 by 2 into gamma of 1 by 2. Now, gamma of 1 by 2, gamma of 1 by 2 get cancelled. 1 by 2, 3 by 2 get cancelled. Multiplying and simplifying this, you will be getting 8 by 315. Hope you understand. Dear students, thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and share to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.